Hello, my dear students, take my heart. I hope you all are well by the rest of all my tale. My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you. My little brothers and sisters, today I will try to solve the questions of your textbook, which is mentioned in page number 69. I will try to solve all the questions which is mentioned in page number 69 in an easy process. So let's do the class and try to solve the questions. Before solving the questions, I would like to show you the questions and try to discuss uh, some process and some technique with this page so in question question number one we can see that there has 15 additional problems and in my earlier lectures i will solve that types of questions so I, I, these are some easy questions and in question number two three and four we can see some a little bit uh, critical questions so in this video i will try to solve all the questions so uh, i will try to solve this question from question number one in question number one we can see that nine plus five is equal what your yes, students if you will try to count this question in your hand in your finger and try to solve this question by e creating a rough on this on your notebook you can easily solve this so 9 plus 5 is equal what the yes, students you know that's 9 plus 5 is equal 14 in question number 2 we can see that 9 plus 7 can you guess 9 plus 7 is equal what yes 9 plus 7 is equal 16 so it's a easy question in question number 3 we can see that 9 plus 8 is equal what we know that 9 plus 8 is equal 17 so the answer of question number 3 will be 17 in question number 4 we can see that 8 plus 4 is equal what you know that 8 plus 4 is equal 12 so the answer of question number 4 will be 12 Next, if we see question number 5, we can see that 8 plus 5 is equal what? You know that 8 plus 5 is equal 13. So, the answer of question number 5 will be 13. And if we see question number 6, we can see that 8 plus 6 is equal what? You know that 8 plus 6 is equal 14. So, the answer of question number 6 will be 14. If we see question number 7, we can see that 6 plus 5 is equal what? You know that 6 plus 5 is equal 11. So, the answer of question number 7 will be 11. If we see question number 8, we can see that 7 plus 8 is equal what? You know that 7 plus 8 is equal 15. And so, the answer of question number 8 will be 15. If we see question number 9, we can see that 5 plus 7, you know that 5 plus 7 is equal to 12, so the answer of question number 9 will be 12. If we see question number 10, we can see that 7 plus 7 is equal what? You know that 7 plus 7 is equal 14, so the answer of question number 10 will be 14. If we see question number 11, we can see that 6 plus 6, you know that 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, so it is an uh, easy question. So 6 plus 6 will be 12. If we see question number 12, we can see that 8 plus 8 is equal what? You know that 8 plus 8 is equal 16. So the answer of question number 12 will be 16. If we see question number 13, we can see that 3 plus 8 is equal what? You know that 3 plus 8 is equal 11. So the answer of question number 13 will be 11. If we see question number 14, we can see that 2 plus 9 is equal what? You know that 2 plus 9 is equal 11. So the answer of question number 14 will be 11. If we see question number 15, we can see that 9 plus 9 is equal what? You know that 9 plus 9 is equal 18. The students, I was trying to uh, solve this question uh, very fast because in my earlier lectures, I was try to share some process. I was try to share some technique how you can solve such types of additional problems. So now I will try to solve question number two. Before solving that, I will try to read the question deeply. So the students notice that in the first line, you can see that two teams are playing how to do with six players in each. The students, I hope you know that how to do is the national game of Bangladesh. So, it's a popular game in our country. It is mentioned here that two teams are playing how to do with six players in each. How many players are playing? The students, you can guess that if we add six with six, it will be the solution of question number two. So, how can we materialize? How can we summarize or customize this question? Now, I will try to show you the question. So, let's go to the board and try to solve question number two. In the first line, you should write that answer to the question number two, and then you should write first team contains six players, which is mentioned in question number two. You can see that two teams are playing how to do with six players. So, in the first team, we can see that first team contains six players, and then 
second team also contains six players and you can guess that because the number of the players will be increased if we add six with six the answer will be increased and that is why we should solve this question with the concept of addition with the concept of summation and that is why you should write this plus sign whenever you will try to solve this question so in the final line we should write that total is equal what you know that if we add 6 with 6 the answer will be 12 so the answer of this question will be 12 players are playing the yes, students it was a easy problem and it was also a easy solution so i hope you all were understand question number two and now we will try to solve question number three so before solving question number three i would like to show you question number three and try to collect that data from the question and get more and more information from there so let's go to question number three and try to solve that you can see that in question number three the order mentioned in the first line there are eight bananas in a bunch and nine bananas in another bunch what is the total number of bananas dear students just think and try to collect data from this question and try to get more and more information from the question we can see that in the first line wh when in the first bunch it contains eight bananas where the other contains nine bananas so when we will try to add this eight with that nine the number of bananas will be increased and in my earlier lectures I was described or I was mentioned to you that whenever any types of number whenever any types of cal calculation will be increased on that particular math or on that particular problem you should use the concept of summation you should use the concept of addition so how can we customize this question so let's try to look at the board in question number three in the first line you should write that answer to the question number three then in the first line of the maths you should write that first bunch contains eight bananas and in the next line you should write that second bunch contains nine bananas and in earlier I was mentioned that because it is a math of summation you should write this plus sign whenever you will try to solve this question otherwise you will fall a great danger so in the final line what will be the answer we can see that total 17 bananas can you guess why we write this 17 here yes dear students if you try to collect if you try to count your finger that 8 plus 9 is equal what you can get the answer easily so 8 plus 9 is equal 17 and that is why the answer of this question will be 17 and dear students don't forget to write answer whenever you will try to solve this question so in the final line or in the last line of the question you should write a answer so the answer of this question will be 17 bananas the students next we will try to solve an interesting maths and it is mentioned in your textbook in page number 69 we can see that the authors say you that make a story for 6 plus 7 the students you know that whenever we was trying to solve any types of questions there was a story here we can see our story of players here we can see a story of bananas so finally in the question number four we can see that the author was asked to you make a story for six plus seven so how can you solve this question or how can we make a story for six plus seven can you guess yes dear students you know that we can solve any types of questions in very very or various types of process or various types of uh, uh, items so like that we can solve this question in various types of process so now I will try to share a process of how can we question, solve question number four so let's try to see the board and try to question number try to solve question number four so in the first line you should write that answer to the question number four and then in the first line you should write that Aurin has six pencils and Adnan has seven pencils you can write any types of name here you can write also here any types of name you can also write any types of products here so 
we can see that Orion has six pencils and Adnan has seven pencils. So in the final lines, we can see that how many pencils they have all together. So whenever you will try to solve this question, you need to add the six with that seven. So it is the question of the solution six plus seven. So in this process, we can make any types of a story. So I hope you all were understand question number one, two, three, and four. So dear students, if you have any types of questions, any types of problems, or any types of doubts on this topic, you can write me on the comment box, and I will try to solve all the questions. I will try to clear all the doubts which you have. So in the next video, I will try to solve another types of problems, another types of questions so stay connected with us and read more and more stay happy stay home goodbye